back, everyone. So everyone dreams about what their big wedding day will be like, but then reality sets in. <laughs> and you realize that everything costs money, uh -huh. costs a lot, and a lot of money. So here to help us figure out the budget for our big day is celebrity financial coach, Lynn Richardson. Hey. Welcome, Lynn. Hey. So, Lynn, it's true what I just said. I mean, yeah. I've heard of people spending anywhere from a few thousand dollars to tens of thousands of dollars yeah. to hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah. on their wedding. What is the first tip you would say? What's the first thing to do when you're tackling a budget? Well, the first thing to do is to decide, are you doing a Hilton wedding or are you doing a Richardson wedding? Because okay. <laughs> okay. there's a difference between the two. All right. And either can be beautiful. Of course, we've all dreamt of the Cinderella weddings with the knight in shining armor, but there's money attached yeah. to that. So the first thing <laughs> we should do is be realistic. Okay. Be at peace with the money that you have because everybody knows money cannot buy happiness. No. So happiness should not be dictated by money. Okay, should, like that's it. great. And one of the ways that you help people with this is what you call a, a wedding budget kit. Absolutely. Right, so walk us through yeah. that. What exactly is that? Well, the wedding budget kit is gonna keep your paycheck and your partner happy. <laughs> And they so, don't agree yeah, all the time. Yes. Yeah. They, don't, they don't agree all the time. You need to keep so, in unison. Yeah, so you got to figure out what am I going to spend money on because these things add up. So right here, you've got everything with apparel. So the gown, the shoes, the lingerie, the ho hosiery, oh, the jewelry, like all these things. Already so expensive. Yeah. It's a lot. Well, the top two things are at the top. Apparel, what you wear, okay. and the ceremony itself. Oh. So that can be extremely Ooh, that's expensive. That's giving me stress thinking about it. it. Yes, yeah, that's a big bulk of it. But if you track your spending, if you're really realistic, then you can certainly have this beautiful day without it really cutting into your paycheck. So what is the most expensive thing then, would you say? The most expensive thing is either the dress or the people. <gasps> oh, the well, people. you have to wear the dress. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess you got to <laughs> don't, don't get people? What are you trying to so say? We, 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 you, can't, you can't you need a dress. The people. Because yeah. here's, here's the deal. The people cost money because they want to eat. <laughs> You yeah. know, they want to eat. Them. They want to eat. <laughs> Don't let them eat. Yeah, well, I say just have a big party, right, mm -hmm. and invite okay. everybody and maybe have light hors d'oeuvres, and you can have your beautiful day because let's keep it real. People go to the weddings for the music. That's we go true. to the reset. We go the to dance. the dance. That's yeah. true. Right, so let's eliminate the food. <laughs> Right, let's have a big old party. And be able to save that money truly for something yes. something important in your life, like a house. A house, a business, um, a savings, your next year anniversary, sure. so you can go away and have a, have a good time. So, yeah, I think it's really important to just be realistic. Yeah. Orly, were you realistic at your wedding? I actually was. Good. Yeah, I actually was. And I ended up DIYing a lot of things at my wedding because it's not only what I love, but it's what I do for a living. So I DIY'd, you know, my dress, the flowers, bouquets, um, little, little elements. But there are certain things I know that you shouldn't feel guilty if you splurge on. Like, there's the certain things, like, just go for it. Yes. What are those things? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm glad you asked. You should absolutely splurge on yourself. It's uh -huh. your day. Dun so dun. you should get every single possible body wax, massage, <laughs> facial, what you your toes, to like everything. No, but just to have that feeling and the yeah. experience. So get the paraffin wax. Get your nails done. Mm. Get your manicure. Yeah. Get the best one. Get hair and available. makeup. Not only yes. that, I mean, I would imagine, I'm not an expert on this, but yeah. the, in the grand scheme of the budget of the wedding, that's not going to be a huge percentage of it. Like, in other words, really exactly. spoil yourself like that. Yeah. It's a lot of bang spoil for the yourself. buck on the day. Yes. Right? It's going to cost a lot less than the people. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I and guess that's gonna, what I'm getting at. Get, and not just, not just the bride, the groom as well. Yeah. You know, go yeah, on and right. splurge and feel really good. So if you get a discount, dress at least your body is expensive <laughs> there you go I love that list. Yeah, that's a good one it. yeah this brings me back to my wedding planning days i was a wedding planner for five years uh -huh. so many fun weddings but i would have so many people say like i want the shivari chairs which, uh -huh. which is a fancy chair for everyone at home <laughs> it's fancy um but they'd say well why they're so expensive why can't we just buy them uh-huh so and i said never buy always rent but i don't know if that's true with everything I always told people to rent because then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, anymore. rent it all. Absolutely. <laughs> Just so you can have the wedding. So if you want the dress that's five figures mm -hmm. that you're only going to wear one day, yeah. you're probably not going to pass it down to your millennial grandchild because they'll probably be wearing spaceships by that time. <laughs> yeah, you know. Right? So go on and rent the dress, rent the veil, rent the wishing well, rent the chairs, rent mm. those things that you want to capture the ambiance but your paycheck and your pocketbook is still gonna be Smart. feeling really nicely. Mm -hmm. I, I have a question because I've always thought, you know, I wanna have a small wedding, I'm older, I don't need to have the whole big crazy thing. 
I would do a destination wedding. But then I was talking to a, a, to my family about it, and they were like, I don't know that that's going to be any cheaper because you want to go to Hawaii, and then oh, that's what, a good question. Are you going to be? You think everyone can't possibly fly well, that's up to Hawaii? I thought, great, yeah. it'll cut down on, on the people yeah. who can't come. We have to actually offer to pay for flights. I mean, oh, what no. are we going to do? Oh, whoa, whoa, slow down. Yeah, no, if so, <laughs> I'm coming. Slow down. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you tell me, but that <laughs> sounds like well, a destination wedding can be tricky because. Well, first of all, first off, if you invite people to the wedding and they make the decision to pay for themselves to come, then you have really saved yourself a lot of money. But the trick is to make sure you do it at an all-inclusive resort. Because oh. once you get them there, yes, even if the beach wedding is free, you still got to feed the people. So mm -hmm. if it's at an all-inclusive yeah. resort, you can kill two birds with one stone. You yeah. can have a great party. You can drink all night. Yeah. <laughs> Because alcohol can be expensive for a reception. Very expensive. And you can, you know, you can have a happy wedding. Yeah, like I had I, a destination destination wedding. I did not have an all-inclusive yeah. resort. So no. Yeah. It makes so much sense. Yeah. 16 yeah. years later, he yeah. is still paying off that wedding. Yeah. Wow. Get there. No.